hopefully it's not too noisy for you guys but I'm currently on the way to my lake home which is where my trailer is currently at and I have a market coming this weekend so we have lots of prep to do this week but first I'm heading out getting my trailer to bring it back home so then we have it for when we need to pack up on Wednesday and also while I'm out here I'm gonna hit up a couple of my favorite thrift stores and the reason being is because I want to find some cute unique picture frames for signage I actually saw Allie Rose Co do this she got some picture frames at TJ Maxx I think it was and I thought it was such a good idea because they're heavy enough so then hopefully they won't blow over and they're also adorable so you could just like print off whatever you want to put on them and just stick them in there so we're gonna head to the thrift stores first because I don't want to be hauling my trailer around town and then we'll head to my lake home and grab my trailer Okay, so as you guys saw, I hooked up my trailer and I checked to see that everything was okay inside of it because this was my first winter with it and I didn't know if the things inside would truly be okay and so I'm glad that everything so far looks good. I did go thrifting before I came here just because I didn't want to haul my trailer around and I didn't really find exactly what I was looking for but I found a couple things that I think are gonna work for my booth but I'm going Wednesday with Cassie to go thrifting in Fargo Moorhead where I live and so hopefully we find some stuff there but here's like a little mini haul of some things that I thrifted today I found these two picture frames they have like grapes on them and they're kind of like house ish and they were only 99 cents each I thought they'd be really cute to like put a QR code in here or something so then people can scan and go to like my Instagram or my website right away and I just thought the vibe was super cute because I want to make my booth not so like white and pink and like that's it I want to add some different colors to it so I did end up getting these and then at the same thrift store I did pick up this one it is a watering can with like flowers coming out of it and it is dirty right here but I can wash it it's not that big of a deal and this is also like a thing that I thought about doing like a QR code or I could put like something small here I'm not sure though yet I did get it for two dollars which I think is a great deal and it's just cute and it will add so much to my booth last but not least I did pick up this like tin bin sort of thing and I did like get a kind of like a hanging basket sort of thing from TJ Maxx like a week or two ago for like, my crochet flowers but I also thought about having this too with some crochet flowers in it and having it on like the table like near checkout so like if they do decide oh like I do want a crochet flower they can just pick it up and grab it out of here and I thought it was cute. I like it. I think it will add something to my booth too and I can also like put a sign here or something another pricing thing if it's nowhere near the crochet flower so then they know the prices but I ended up picking this up for a dollar so that's my little thrift haul for you guys but for now we are going to head on home because we have so much work to do in the next three days and I'm kind of mad at myself that I wasted three hours yes 
takes 45 minutes to get here and then I went thrifting and I had to drive 45 minutes back home. But I did do a lot of crocheting this past weekend because I went down to the cities which is about like a three, three and a half hour drive. So I crocheted the whole time while Cole drove and so I did get a lot done but I still have so much more to do. I'm not going to be making any new apparel for this market just because I have a lot of apparel actually in stock and I should be good on apparel for this one. It's just the crochet stuff that I need to get going on because that's been really popular lately. Speaking of apparel, um, so on Friday morning I just tried to get some work done quick. I like embroidered a couple more crewnecks and then my needle broke on the embroider machine. So yesterday I went and bought a new needle and now my thread just keeps breaking on top and I have tried googling, youtubing, all that and no one can help me fix this problem because I've tried every single thing that they said in those videos and nothing is fixing it and so I'm getting a little bit frustrated with that. So I'm just gonna bring what I have done of the bow crew necks. Yes, I did not finish those for last week's launch, but that's okay. Um, so yeah, I don't know if I'll be finishing those. I literally only have two left to do, and it's just so frustrating. So I think the rest of today, since it's kind of gloomy out and it's a little bit rainy, sprinkly here and there, I'm gonna go home and we're gonna crochet all day because that's what I enjoy and it relaxes me. So let's head on home. Okay, so I got home, parked the trailer. Also, trying to get used to the trailer again because I don't know, I'm out of practice. And then I ate some lunch, but I wanted to show you guys what I got done this past weekend. I actually got done two of the bags, like the cream speckled ones. I got two of those done. Obviously no liner or zipper, but for the most part, they're done. Then I got done six of these car rear view mirror hairs, and I think they turned out adorable. They look great, and I think I wanna make like a couple more because I also have five daisies, a bunch of the leaves, and then this is like the stuff that you obviously like hang them on, like put them on. Um, so I think I want to do like another color variation and see how it does for the market because I think six pink ones will be fine but I just want to add like another color variation and then I still need to make Daisy and Lily car buddies. Those don't really take me too long but I do want to make some of those and I want to make different colors of the Daisy ones too I think. But before I do any like color variations like different colors of this crochet car accessories that I have, I'm gonna get just get done what I already have on my website and everything. So I'm gonna go ahead and make some daisies, make some pink lilies, and then I might get started on the crochet flowers because I do need to restock like actually a lot of those and those kind of take a little bit of time to make. So we have a lot to do in three days because then two days are gonna be in Minot and we're gonna be in market mode. So Let's get going on these car buddies and then eventually after that I will then make some more crochet flowers. I'm falling to pieces in my room. Are you coming over? That's cool. I could use a little something to do We could go outside, take a little ride if you want to That's cool I did what I was supposed to There's nothing left for me to do So now I'm poking out my head through open windows Cause that's what I feel like Do it tonight Waking up my brain Maybe you can do the same You want me to
me to say something. I come up with nothing. Maybe we can talk until we figure out a topic. Been so long in my head, caught up in my feelings. Hello and good morning, you beautiful and wonderful people. Today is Tuesday. Last night I pretty much finished up all of the car accessories that I plan on bringing this weekend. I decided not to do a different color and anything just because I don't think I'm gonna have time to finish everything that I want to finish before this weekend and so probably at my next market or online I'll launch like new variations and colors but this is what we got done. I made a ton of daisy charms just because those ones are pretty popular. I feel like those will sell first before the Lily ones. But this is what they'll look like at the booth, like this. And then we'll have like Daisy Charms here. And that honestly took me a bit of time because I had to make the Lilies and the Lilies take me the longest to make out of pretty much that whole thing. And then I got done one blue speckle panel for a bag. So today's task is to make bags. I need to crochet a bunch of bags. That is my main focus. And then hopefully tonight we can like sew the liners. I'm not going to be too worried about actually like sewing the liner on top and into the crochet bag because I do that by hand so I could do that Thursday night or whatever in my not if need be. But my goal is just to crochet as much of these, put them together, get the liners ready, and then just stick the liners in. I'll worry about that later. But it's crazy because we have today, Wednesday, and then I leave Thursday at around noon. So I feel like I do not have much time to finish everything. And most people are smart and they start doing market prep like a month before, but I am not that person. As you guys may see in a lot of my videos, like launch day, I decide to launch stuff like three days before launch day or I decide to plan like a week in advance or whatever. I am not a big planner. That is not who I am. But I just hope that everything that I'm doing is going to be enough. I think it will be, but you never know. I guess we'll see. I forgot if I told you guys this, but this past weekend I went to the cities and I got Duncan. So I was able to bring home Duncan and run glass number two of Duncan. I had one yesterday. This is the second one. And then I saved enough for tomorrow. And I'm so sad because I don't know when the next time is that I'm going to get Duncan. So Duncan, I'm sure you're not watching this, but if you are, please come to Fargo, North Dakota or Moorhead, Minnesota. They're just divided by a river. Okay. You can pick either or I will drive to you. All right. Please come to my town. I want Duncan so bad. And it's not like I live in a tiny, tiny town. Like, it's a pretty big town. All right, enough about that. Let's get going on making some bags. half I have three done that's that's awesome so I feel like we're gonna be here for a very very long time
Okay, so my brother-in-law just came over to help me fix the embroidery machine, and I think we fixed it. All right, let's see. Okay, I think we fixed it. This makes me really happy and really excited because now I can just finish off the last two sweatshirts that I need. Let's just hope that it doesn't break again because I don't really know what we did to fix it. Okay, so I finished putting together four bags. I just gotta do the liners and zippers, but right now I have to run to hockey practice because I am a hockey coach this spring. So I'll, I'm gonna go and do that. And when I get home, we will put the liners in these shades of pouches. Okay, I just got home from practice and while my food is cooking, I'm just gonna get started on the liners for these bags. I love the way you take it slow You make this light inside me glow Okay, so I made all of the liners for the white and pink speckle. I'm not gonna worry about sewing them in right now because I can always do that when I get to my knot, whatever, at the hotel, because I just do it by hand, so it's not that hard. So I'll just put these to the side. But the blue ones, I don't have any of the dark pink zippers, so I do need to go to the craft store tomorrow to find those and see if they have any and if they don't i'll just use probably like the light pink ones and just call it good honestly so i haven't gotten those ones made but in the meantime i'm just gonna see like how many of the crochet flowers i can get done it is 10 40 at night but i'm on a time crunch so we don't sleep here um, I do have a decent amount to make i like wrote down how many i have in stock right now so I can see like which ones I need to make more of. I definitely need to make more lavender, blue tulip. I have zero daisies. And then I also need to make some flowers because I have zero of those and I feel like those are, might be popular. And then also yellow tulips. So I'm gonna get going on making all of those, but I will probably just check in with you guys tomorrow morning and show you how many I ended up 
getting done. Happy Wednesday, everybody. Today is the last day to prep before we leave tomorrow and I'm a little bit nervous. I feel like I have got nothing done, but we're just gonna keep on pushing through. These are all of the lavender flowers that I got done yesterday. They obviously are not put together, but I consider them done because all I have to do is just glue them onto the stick. And we have a total of seven done. I think I'm gonna be good for now with these because if they do well, Hopefully people will go on the website later on. I'll restock them and they'll purchase them from there. But I still got a lot more flowers to still make. So that's what we're doing this morning. And later today, I was going to go to the thrift store with Cassie to thrift more frames, but she's busy with her kids, which is totally fine. So if I have time, I will go by myself, of course, and just kind of around different thrift stores to see if I can find some cool frames. And if I don't have time, I don't have time. Like, that's okay. Like... No biggie, I really should have prepared for this market a little bit sooner, but that's okay. I'm also on my last cup of Dunkin', which is so sad because I don't want it to end, but it's a good way to start our last day of market prep. So I'm gonna get going on making a ton of flowers. I wanna see how many flowers I can possibly make before like lunchtime. Don't know how many that's gonna be, but we'll see. It's 11.40 and I just finished 10 of the daisies. Obviously they're not on the stem yet, but I finished 10 of them and I'm pretty proud of myself. And now I'm gonna be working on sunflowers cause that's kind of like the last flower that I really need to do besides a couple of the blue tulips and a couple of the yellow tulips. But sunflowers are the ones that I really need to do. Like I need to do at least 10 of them and they take a bit of time. So I'm gonna work on some sunflowers now. I have officially finished all of the flowers, all the crochet stuff besides putting the liners, um, attaching them to the bag. Obviously I can do that later, but 
Are you ready to see all the flowers? Here are all the flowers that I ended up finishing today. It may not look like a lot to you, but this is a ton. There is about 25 flowers in total. And if you think about it, for the sunflowers, I have to make a green circle, a brown circle, and then I have to attach them using like the petal method. And that's the same thing that I have to do for the daisy ones. So they do take a tiny bit longer than most. The daisy one, not so much as the sunflower because it is smaller but still a lot of extra steps going into it. But I'm truly happy with everything that I ended up finishing. And I think that this will be enough with everything that I have downstairs. I do plan on doing a couple tulips probably tonight, but I do have some other business things I need to attend to first, sadly. And then I think later tonight, I'm going to load the trailer up so I don't have to worry about that tomorrow and maybe I can finish up a couple extra things tomorrow. But I'm gonna end this vlog here. I really, really, really hope you guys enjoyed it and don't forget that there will be a market vlog the following week after this one. And if you haven't seen one of my market vlogs yet, you should go check out all the ones that I have on my channel. I'll also link them. I'll also link the craft fair playlist at the end of this as well. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed already and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys! Oh.